In a very exciting development, MIT researchers have built LLMs that now can train themselves through reinforcement learning. In this video, I am going to tell all about this in a very very simple way, so stay tuned. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. This fascinating new paper which you can see on your screen self-adapting language models from MIT researchers is going to be very big in coming few months and I have no doubt about that. You are going to see lot and lot of models which will be based on this paper. This work tackles a fundamental limitation of current LLMs. They are essentially static after training. Once the models like GPT-4, Claude, Llama, Mistral are trained, that's it. They really cannot learn new information or adapt to new tasks by updating their weights. These authors introduce something called as SEAL or self-adapting LLMs. The core idea is quite brilliant. Instead of humans deciding how to fine-tune a model, what if the model could generate its own training data and decide how to update itself? Think of it like this. When you study for an exam, you don't just read the textbook as is. You create your own notes, rephrase concepts in ways that make sense to you, and decide which topics need more focus. SEAL gives language models this same ability to restructure information and create their own learning materials. Now let's look at how SEAL actually works. The system has two nested loops. Think of it as a learning to learn approach. In the outer reinforcement learning loop, the model generates what the authors call self-edits these are natural language instructions that specify both the training data and how to use it. For example, a self-edit might say create implications from this passage or use these specific optimization settings. Then in the inner loop, the model actually applies these self-edits through supervised fine-tuning using LoRa or low rank adaptation which is an efficient way to update model weights. After the update, they test how well the adapted model performs on the target task. Here is a clever part. The model gets rewarded based on how much its performance improved. If a particular self-edit strategy worked well, the model learns to generate similar edits in the future. If it didn't help, the model learns to avoid that approach. This creates a feedback loop where the model gets better and better at knowing how to adapt itself. Let's see this in action with their first experiment, which is knowledge incorporation. The goal is to get a model to internalize new factual information so that it can answer questions about it without having the original text in context. They use passages from the squad dataset Instead of just fine-tuning directly on the passage text, SEAL generates implications, basically rephrasing and expanding on the information in ways that might be easier to learn from. For instance, if the passage mentions that Kennedy's science advisor Jerome Weisner opposed the Apollo program, the model might generate implications like the Apollo program faced opposition from within Kennedy's administration. After fine-tuning on these self-generated implications, they have tested the model by asking it the questions about the passage without providing the original text. The improvement in accuracy becomes the reward signal that teaches the model to generate better implications next time. The second application is this few short learning using tasks from ARC dataset. These are visual reasoning puzzles that require understanding patterns from just a few examples. Here, SEAL learns to configure the entire adaptation pipeline instead of just generating training data. It also decides on optimization hyperparameters like learning rate, number of training epochs, and which types of data augmentations to use. The model might decide to use basic augmentations but skip size modifications. 
set the learning rate and train for three epochs. Each configuration gets tested and the model learns which combinations work best for different types of reasoning tasks. This is quite powerful because traditional approaches use the same fixed settings for all tasks. But SEAL can customize the adaptation strategy for each specific problem. Look at these results. They are quite impressive. Looking at how the self-edit evolved during training is fascinating. Initially, the model generated short, simple applications, but through reinforcement learning, it learned to create longer, more detailed and more comprehensive explanations that were much more effective for learning. For few short learning, SEAL achieved a really staggering 72.5% success rate compared to just 20% for models using random configurations that shows it really learned how to configure the adaptation process effectively. Of course, this approach has its limitations. The biggest one is catastrophic forgetting. As the model learns new information, it tends to forget previously learned facts. The authors tested this by sequentially adapting to multiple passages and tracking performance on earlier tasks. As you can see in these results, performance on earlier passages gradually decreases as more adaptations are applied. This is a classic problem in continual learning that SEAL doesn't fully solve yet. There is also significant computation overhead. Each self-edit requires a full fine-tuning and evaluation cycle making it much, much more expensive than traditional reinforcement learning approaches that just need forward passes. Now, there are a lot of other um, implications there too. Now, one more important thing I wanted to mention is that despite these limitations, the thing is that SEAL represents an exciting step towards truly adaptive AI systems, the idea of models that can autonomously decide how to learn from new information could be crucial as we move towards more capable and autonomous AI agents. And this could eventually scale to help models generate their own pre-training data or enable continuous learning and deployed system. And as we really face potential limitations in available training data, Having models that can effectively create and learn from their own synthetic data become increasingly valuable. So I think that this work really opens up fascinating questions about self-improving AI systems and brings us closer to models that can truly learn and adapt throughout their deployment rather than being frozen in time after training. I'm very keen to know your thoughts on it. Before I let you go, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Matrix. Matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as A-B tests for your marketing captions that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies. And you can find the link to their website in video's description. Please like and share the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so as it helps. Thank you for the support.